first of all, I am from Dominican Republic. I am in Dominican Republic right now. So I came for vacation for the month of December. And I was practicing medicine here before to go to United States, which is, was in 2017. So before I, I went to United States, I didn't imagine that I want to go there and do the, the USMLE test. So I wasn't prepared. And I took the decision to do the um, step one during that year. I started working there. And things didn't went well because I did it by myself. I think I underestimate the test a lot. And I said, you know what? I'm going to take the test. I'm going to pass and I'm going to leave this job and I'm going to be happy <laughs> forever, forever. So I failed and it was difficult for me. You know why? Because I didn't have the option to stop working until this year when I finally am stable. I save a lot of money. I pay all my bills, my rent. I make sure that everything was on time and I have enough money to leave the job. I leave my job on April of this year just to study a full time because I was so tired and sick of being studying, 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 and of not seeing the progress. I was like, okay, so I can understand the concepts. I can do well uh, on, on your work. I wasn't doing well on the MBMEs until I have my tutor and studying every single day. Dr. Jeep, oh my God, he's so persistent. Sometimes I was like, I, I, I don't feel I want to talk to him today, but he keep texting me and calling me <laughs> like, okay, okay, so let me talk to you. <laughs> let me see what happened. <laughs> but, you know, I was watching video on YouTube again, and I found like many videos of people talking about waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning and going early to bed. And that worked magically for me. And I was able to do all the things that Dr. G said I have to do and since that moment, I got a really big increase on my MBMEs. So I started with Dr. G last year on September. I think like after April, where we make an everyday plan, where we planned every hour of the day that I was, all the things that I was supposed to be doing hour by hour, that changes everything for me. It was 184 in 2019. Definitely, I, I know for sure I wasn't prepared, but like the anxiety of not being prepared, it was worse than the exam itself, you know, because you feel like unsecure of yourself. You don't feel, you don't feel like you're going to make it. And all of that anxiety, I think it was worse of the of the Sam itself. And I can tell you this time around, I felt like, man, this Sam is so easy. And I I honestly thought that I would have got like a higher score because I didn't uh, this time I didn't feel this the exam that difficult. Maybe because I feel better with myself and the preparation was different and super extensive. So I think that was the difference on 2018 and now. The best advice is that if you can sacrifice for a few months, six months, eight months to do it now and to do it full time, you don't want to be wasting time and taking years and years to study all off and off all the time so it is hard many people have children's husband and and job but man ing please you have to stop now and take the sacrifice now let's gonna do it now so i fell step one in 2019 with 184 so now in 2021 i passed with tw with 
225. And I really recommend that you need to join to smash to use a lead, but mainly you need to get a tutor. This is not a process that you can do it by yourself, especially ING. You need to get help and you need to get help now. No more waiting. And actually the date of the test, your videos was the one that I was watching before to actually go into the center because I went very early and the video that you make on your birthday, I was like, man, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this is my guy. And I just um, stayed in my car like for an hour before they opened and I was just relaxing, listen to, listening to your videos and putting the right mindset to go and, and do that test right. You don't imagine how many years I have trying to actually get ready to, to sit for the scan. And when I took the test the first time, like, and I fell, like three months after that, I found you on YouTube. And I was like, man, where were you six months ago? Why I didn't find you before? <laughs> But finally, you pop up on YouTube uh, videos, and I said, what? Is he talking to me? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> and I joined to, to the program, and I got, like, two tutors before in the Smash Usama League. And then I got Dr. G, and he has been working with me for the last year. And oh my God, I've been, I've been through a lot. <laughs> you don't have an idea.